Hello friends, this video on chemistry in everyday life part 8 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now let's talk about the neurologically active drugs. So there are two types of neurologically active drugs. One is the tranquilizers, the other is the analgesics. They are both neurologically active drugs and they affect the message transfer mechanism from the nerve to the receptors. Right? So we'll talk about these in details. First, let's understand the tranquilizers. See, these tranquilizers are used to treat stress. For example, if you see this lady is totally stressed and mental disease, right? For treatment of stress and mental disease. Correct? They release anxiety, stress, or excitement also. Why? By inducing a sense of well-being your mind thinks that everything is well all is well right? they are very essential component of sleeping pills sleeping pills sleeping medicines you take this tranquilizers are very critical component of the sleeping pills in fact there are various types of tranquilizers in the market there are various types of tranquilizers in the market and they work on different mechanism. For example, if you see that, we have a transmitter, neurotransmitter actually, let me write this, neurotransmitter, right? The name of the neurotransmitter is, let's suppose we'll take this guy, Nora or Adrenaline. Right? Noradrenaline. So this guy, noradrenaline, it plays a very important role in the mood change. This is a role in mood change. This is again a chemical actually. Right? The transmitter are nothing but chemicals we just discussed. So if this noradrenaline level is low that is the signal sending activity to this uh, brain is less right if the brain is not getting enough signals from the body the person becomes depressed you become depressed because you're not getting the brain is not getting a lot of signals there is not much happening in your life right so in that case if this is low if this becomes low then what we do we give antidepressant That is nothing but my tranquilizers, right? So these drugs, what will do? So no, normally you saw, right? The drugs generally inhibit the enzymes, right? We have seen that they just stops. Most of the drugs believe in stopping things, and that's why when you take drugs, you are asked your body or the doctor asks you to take ample diet, right? Good fruits, good vegetables, because the body will make stuffs. The drugs generally, I. Uh, I can say that 90% of the drugs generally stops things, right? Stops, they just stop. They don't produce generally, right? Vitamins are, uh, vitamins tablets are different, but generally other drugs, all these tranquilizers and uh, target drugs, they stops, they have a killing effect. They don't build things, right? The building things is done by the good food. The, the better food you take, the body will build on its own. That's how the drug works. Drugs comes with a gun not with a, a plate of food for the body correct now we have to increase something right we have to increase the level of uh, this particular chemical noradrenaline but most of the drug is something which has a killing effect so what to do now scientists observe that there is an enzyme there is an enzyme because see, every chemical has its lifespan right this chemical is there there is, a, is an enzyme which decays which decays or kills this drug sorry this chemical noradrenaline so what happens we know one enzyme which is you know, removing this noradrenaline from the system now we'll target this enzyme correct so antidepressant drugs will target this or kill this enzyme. I won't say kill, but it will 
uh, inhibit the production of this enzyme or somehow it will make sure that this enzyme should not decay whatever noradrenaline it has and then the patient will be asked to take more food better food the body itself will produce more of these chemicals and these chemicals will not be decayed right so that's what it does it's a different approach right because it has to increase the concentration of this chemical generally it can't create such a complex thing uh, killing see killing is easier than creating you know that no you have it's easy to uh, break a house and to build a house so these are all medicines generally break things right and that's why they are poisons also if they are taking in more quantity so they will kill this enzyme which decays this particular chemical and slowly if you eat good food the body will produce this chemical for you correct so example of such antidepressant drugs are one is ipronazid the other is phenylalanine these are my two drugs which are antidepressant so there are other antidepressants in the or anti uh, i mean there are other tranquilizers in the market for example equanil is a pretty popular one this is also used to control depression and hypertension and there's a whole bunch of these kind of uh, drugs and they are all derivatives of barbituric acid there are a whole bunch of uh, drugs which are uh, derivative of barbituric acid for example uh, vernal and then we have lambutal and then we have luminal and then we have signal there are so many uh, drugs which are all tranquilizers and antidepressant they, they are uh, derivatives of uh, barbituric acid right and they are called barbiturates they are called let me write here barbiturates and they are hypnotics also this barbiturate and they are good um, they are used for sleeping pills correct there are the drugs in the market there are so many drugs there are valum and uh, serotonium there are so many drugs in the market which are used for tranquilizers you should remember some of the name of the drugs so if you see here these tranquilizers are impacting the nervous system of the body the next is analgesic this guy analgesic they reduce or abolish the pain without causing any harm to the consciousness or the or it doesn't create any mental confusion or any other disturbance to the mental system the, the whole nervous system is not touched it, it doesn't impact so they are better than tranquilizers correct and there are two types of the analgesics one is the non narcotics other is narcotics right so if you see non non narcotics are non addictives you don't get addicted by that and narcotics are the one which you get addicted so non narcotics are on here narcotics are addict addict you get addicted by this and with this you don't get addicted correct so for the non narcotics we have some examples we have aspirin we have paracetamol which is used to uh, reduce fever and headache so if you see aspirin what it does is it will inhibit the synthesis of a chemical called prostaglandins we have told that right it it, it, it inhib inhibits inhibit cross tag landis synthesis correct and this cross tag landis if you see it uh, stimulates the inflammation in the uh, in the tissue and cause pain so this aspirin will stop the cross tag landis 
correct and these drugs are again as i explained are uh, effective in reducing the pain and also used to reduce fever right because it prevents a, a platelet coagulation and since it prevents uh, since it have this platelet coagulation effect anti platelet coagulation effect it is also used to prevent heart attack but please note here these drugs if you see are working in a different uh, strategy the earlier drug the tranquilizer we saw was they were impacting the um, the nervous system right they were you were creating uh, dummy chemicals that were uh, impairing the receptors of the system but this case you are creating drugs which will stop the production of some chemicals right that that uh, makes you feel pain so these are my non narcotics they are non non addictive the next is the narcotics they are addictive they are addictive you get addiction to it very easily so for example morphine is one example morphine so if you administer morphine in a medic in the medicinal dose in a limited dose as per doctor's prescription it will relieve pain and will produce sleep also but if you take in excess it will cause death so it was first found in 1804 morphine by frederick right and these morphine are also called opiates why are they called opiates because they are obtained from opium poppy is always in news actually this morphine is a plant called opium from there it is made and this morphine is named after the greek god it is a god of dream right that is morphinis god of dream the greek drug because when you take this morphine you feel sleepy right and this morphine is very critical it is used for the pain relief in case of your heart pain and also in the terminal cancer in case of cancer if the cancer is a very high stage the patient feels a lot of pain because cancer eats up the cells and the patient feels the whole body is hollow this is a very very painful disease so if it is at the extreme stage then this morphine is given also the child birth pain the labor pain which uh, Uh, women gets during the childbirth that is also very uh, almost unbearable pain there also morphine is given thank you visit examfear.com to watch more videos attempt free online tests get free study materials find tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again